single day. Misconduct last August, according to FDL. Our Jackson County Sheriff's deputy has been arrested on several felony charges. He's accused of planting drugs on people during traffic stops and then taking them into custody. WTXL ABC 27's Valerie Mills joins us live in Jackson County, where we just heard from investigators. And Val, what do we know so far? Ava, 26-year-old Zach Wester, was arrested earlier today by FDLE agents in Wakulla County. He's being held in the Wakulla Jail without bail after the Jackson County Sheriff's Office requested an investigation into allegations of misconduct last August. According to FDLE, they found Wester would regularly pull over drivers in Jackson County for traffic stops, plant drugs in their cars, and haul them to jail on fake charges. Around 300 cases involving Wester have been reviewed and FDLE says there's no question that his actions put innocent people in jail. Investigators add Wester would tailor his body camera footage to hide his crimes, but people are coming forward about their interactions with him. There are 11 people uh, that have testified that he planted drugs on them because of the nature of the charges and the fact that he was a public employee. The investigation had progressed to the point where it was appropriate to make an arrest at this time, even though the investigation was not complete. Wester is facing charges of racketeering, official misconduct, fabricating evidence, possession of a controlled substance, and false imprisonment. Investigators say at this point, there's no indication that Wester was using drugs or where he was getting them from. He's set to make his first appearance tomorrow at 11 a.m. in front of a Wakulla County judge. Live in Jackson County, Valerie Mills, WTXL, ABC 27. A former Jackson County Sheriff's deputy is now behind bars after allegedly planting drugs in vehicles during traffic stops. News Channel 7's Blake Brannon has more on what led to Zachary Wester's arrest. In August of 2018, the Jackson County Sheriff's Office asked the Florida Department of Law Enforcement to look into Jackson County Deputy Zachary Wester after they believed he was planting drugs inside vehicles and arresting the drivers on made-up drug charges. Uh, this is not something that we condone. We're not proud of it, but it is the facts that uh, we're dealing with. Wester was fired from the sheriff's office in September, and according to the FDLE, after an extensive investigation, Wester was arrested Wednesday morning in Crawfordville on 52 counts, including racketeering, fabricating evidence, and false imprisonment. But the investigation continues. FDLE has assigned a team of 10 special agents, two crime intelligence analysts, who have logged over 1,400 hours on this case already. Uh, and it's still ongoing uh, even today. The first judicial circuit of Florida out of Pensacola will lead the prosecution and state attorney's office officials say despite the active investigation, they believe they're ready to go to court. It's been the policy of my office that we do not plea bargain these type of cases. We believe they're very serious and we expect to proceed based on my review of the matter, we expect to proceed to to the trial of this, these cases. In September, the state attorney's office dropped 119 cases against the people Wester allegedly planted drugs on, but sheriff's officials did want to thank them for their patience. There were some things that came through, such as the storm that delayed some of this, but I want to thank the public for being there and, and patiently waiting. In Mariana, Blake Brandon, News Channel 7. Now, the state attorney's office says they do not believe any other deputies or Jackson County personnel were involved with Wester. Wester will make his first appearance in Wakulla in Jackson counties over the next few days. Hey, Sheriff County, this is Sheriff County Cop Watch. I am using any video here with under fair use if you uh, have criticism, reporting, teaching, etc. And please donate. I do not make money from YouTube. 
and uh, there are different ways to donate in the uh, video links. Thanks.